Bitcoin struggles for stability, facing 10% drop for the week. Bitcoin prices dipped slightly on Friday, but were holding above $8,100 in a week marked by a sharp drop on concerns for tighter regulation. From exactly a week ago, some $39 billion has been wiped off the market cap of cryptocurrencies, which stood at $325,416,080,764 on Friday, according to CoinMarketCap. A single Bitcoin BTC USD, minus 2.20%, was changing hands at $8,150.41, down 1.3%. This week, Bitcoin has dropped nearly 10%, bringing it to a year-to-date loss of around 43%, as March has been a losing month for the number one cryptocurrency. Read, if this chart is correct, it puts the price of Bitcoin at $91,000. By 2020 Bitcoin suffered a hefty loss on Wednesday, after Alphabet asked Google said it would ban cryptocurrency-related advertising, and virtual currencies were described as a crock at a Senate hearing earlier this week. Among other cryptocurrencies, Ether slipped 1.6%, Bitcoin Cash slid 3.2%, to $915.41, Litecoin fell 2.8%, to $160.13, and Ripple dropped 1.6%, to $0.69. Cents. Among Bitcoin futures, the KB Global Markets April contract XBTJ8 minus 1.57% was down 1% to $8,200, while the CME Group S March contract BTCH8 minus 1.21% fell 0.6% to $8,185. Bitcoin mining not so profitable anymore, says analyst with the price of Bitcoin more having its all-time high of $19,694.68 reached in mid-December. Fresh doubts over how profitable it is to mine cropped up. Bitcoin currently trades essentially at the break even cost of mining of Bitcoin, currently at $8,038 based on a mining model developed by our data science team, said Thomas Lee, head of research at Fund Street Global Advisors, in a report released Thursday, cited by CNBC. In calculating that, Fundstrict looks at equipment and electricity costs, plus charges to keep facilities cool. Bitcoin mining has come under fire for the amount of global energy it consumes. According to the Bitcoin Energy Consumption Index, global energy usage of current Bitcoin mining is already equal to power uptake of Denmark. According to research conducted by Elite Fixtures, the cost of mining of Bitcoin can cost as little as $531 to as much as $26,170. Bitcoin Daily, Bitgrail plans to refund $195 million, but her oim takes a price beating. Bitcoin dipped below $8,000 for a short time on Thursday, March 15, CNBC reported. The fall comes as central bankers and finance ministers are likely to discuss cryptocurrencies in Argentina at the G20 meeting this weekend. Bitcoin was trading at $8,305.39 as of 8.25 p.m., according to Coindesk. In cryptocurrency exchange news, Italy as Grail said it plans to reimburse its users for Nano, XRB, coins they lost in a hack back in February. The next web reported. The company said users should already have 20% of the lost XRB coins in their accounts, and the exchange plans to issue the remaining value in new Bitgrail shares (BGS). However, only customers who accept the company's settlement agreements will be able to receive the refunds. And Lightning Labs is now offering a beta version of its Lightning Network software, CoinDesk reported. The technology enables users to send Litecoin and Bitcoin to other users, without having to settle those transfers on the blockchain. The company has notched $2.5 million in funding from backers such as Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey. In other news, Bitcoin is trading at almost the level it costs to make the digital coins at least as of Thursday evening, CNBC reported.
According to an estimate by Fundster Tess Thomas Lee, it costs $8,038 to mine a Bitcoin. As a result, some miners may stop mining Bitcoin until the cryptocurrency trades higher. But Heroim is now trading at its lowest point since December, when the currency jumped from $475 to $700, Newst reported. The cryptocurrency has lost over 20% of its value over the week, and has fallen almost 40% over the past month. But Heroim was trading at $613.59 as of 8.25 p.m. And LL Bean has ended its test of embedding sensors in its coats and boots that connect to the blockchain, the Wall Street Journal reported. Apparently the creepout factor won out as Chad Leader, who was heading up the project for L.L. Bean, confirmed in an email that it had been shut down. In New York, a hydro dam is powering mining of Ormius coin, the company said in an announcement. The company teamed up with local authorities and the Moses Saunders Power Dam, which is located on the border between the U.S. and Canada. Peter Thiel still supports Trump hints at a Bitcoin bubble and teases a conservative media network. Since appearing at the Republican National Convention's main stage in 2016 to promote candidate Donald Trump, PayPal co-founder Peter Thiel has largely kept out of the spotlight. The billionaire investor, Silicon Valley's most prominent libertarian, has since stepped back from politics and even from the valley, which he decries. As a one-party state, he spoke with Fox Business Network S. Maria Bartiromo this week in New York about his plans in media, politics, and his new home in Los Angeles. The excerpts below are from the full interview to be broadcast on Friday morning, March 16. On possible plans to start new conservative news network, we've looked at doing something on the media content side for some time. The big challenge is really figuring out how to get the business model to work and the sense is that cable works, but it does not clear that as the future. The future is something that is more internet-centric, but it is still very unclear how one get the business model to work from a content production side. So I've e spoken to a lot of different people, but I haven't yet figured out that problem. On why is he leaving Silicon Valley and moving to Los Angeles, there is a point where network effects go very wrong and where sort of the network effects, where everyone is super connected, everyone knows what everyone is thinking, everyone ends up thinking the same thing, it sort of shifts over into the madness of crowds, and I think somehow we've e gotten to the point, where perhaps the negatives are greater than the positives. On the criticism he has faced for supporting Trump, of course I got heat, and I don't want to exaggerate the importance that I think it is okay to be in a place where most people are liberal or where most people have views different from my own. I do think there is something different when it goes from a large majority having one way to it being almost unanimous because things are never unanimous. So when people are unanimously on one side, that tells you not that they've e all figured out the truth, but that they are in sort of a totalitarian place, that they are in a one-party state where they are not allowed to have dissenting views. On why he still supports Trump? Perhaps the single thing I saw in President Trump, and that I still think his terrific is his willingness to challenge some of the orthodoxies, the politically correct orthodoxies in our country, and to freshly rethink things in a variety of ways, and I think that is so critical for us moving forward. On tariffs and the trade deficit with China, something like the tariffs, where you re always supposed to be anti-tariff and you re always supposed to be reflexively pro-free trade, but I think that needs to be rethought as well. It is obvious that there is something wrong with our trade relations when they are this asymmetric. We import $475 billion a year from China, we export $100 billion. That is an incredible trade deficit. And the economic theory is that that developing country should have trade deficits because it has the faster growing economy, but capital should be flowing from the US to invest in China, and then China should have trade deficits 
that offset the flows, and we instead live in a world where the money is sort of strangely flowing uphill. On Bitcoin, it has all of these sort of 99-2000 bubble-like aspects, but one thing that is very different from 99-2000 is there are almost no Wall Street analysts pushing this, and so it is so out of favor. PayPal co-founder bullish on Bitcoin, bearish on other cryptos. Peter Thiel, who is PayPal co-founder and one of the prominent angel investors in tech and cryptocurrencies, said he remains bullish on Bitcoin. I would be a long Bitcoin and neutral to skeptical on just about everything else, Thiel said during a conversation with Fox Business Maria Bartiromo at the Economics Club of New York. However, he said he was not very sure if he would encourage people to run out right now and buy cryptocurrencies. The Facebook board member said there is going to be just one cryptocurrency that will be the equivalent of gold, which he added would most likely be Bitcoin. Money is a bubble that never pops, Thiel, known for his early investments in Facebook and SpaceX, said. Founders Fund, a venture capital firm co-founded by Thiel, has been investing in cryptocurrencies since 2012. The stash is reportedly worth around $20 million. As March has been a losing month for the number one cryptocurrency. Read, if this chart is correct, it puts the price of Bitcoin at $91,000. By 2020, Bitcoin suffered a hefty loss on Wednesday. After Alphabet as Google said it would ban cryptocurrency-related advertising and virtual currencies were described as a crock at a Senate hearing earlier this week. Among other cryptocurrencies, Ether slipped 1.6%, Bitcoin Cash slid 3.2%, to $915.41, Litecoin fell 2.8%, to $160.13, and Ripple dropped 1.6%, to $0.69. Cents. Among Bitcoin futures, the B Global Markets April contract XBTJ8 minus 1.57% sees in Argentina at the G20 meeting this weekend. Bitcoin was trading at $8,305.39 as of 8.25 p.m., according to Coindesk. In cryptocurrency exchange news, Italy Aspet Grail said it plans to reimburse its users for Nano, XRB, coins they lost in a hack back in February, the next web reported. The company said users should already have 20% of the lost XRB coins in their accounts, and the exchange plans to issue the remaining value in new BitGrail shares BGS. However, only customers who accept the company's settlement agreements will be able to receive the refunds. And Lightning Labs is now offering a beta version of its Lightning Network software, Coindesk reported. The technology enables users to sell was down 1% to $8,200, while the CME Group S March contract BTCH8 minus 1.21% fell 0.6% to $8,185. Bitcoin mining not so profitable anymore, says analyst with the price of Bitcoin more having its all-time high of $19,694.68 reached in mid-December. Fresh doubts over how profitable it is to mine cropped up. Bitcoin currently trades essentially at the break-even cost of mining a Bitcoin, currently at $8,038 based on a mining model developed by our data science team, said Thomas Lee, head of research at Fundstreet Global Advisors, in a report released Thursday. Cited by CNBC. In calculating that, Fundstreet looks at equipment and electricity costs, plus charges to keep facilities cool. Bitcoin mining has come under fire for the amount of global energy it consumes. According to the Bitcoin Energy Consumption Index, global energy usage of current Bitcoin mining is already equal to power uptick of Denmark. According to research conducted by Elite Fixtures, the cost of mining a Bitcoin can cost as little as $531 to as much as $26,170. Bitcoin Daily, Bitgrail plans to refund $195 million. Bitcoin takes a price beating.
but coined it below $8,000 for a short time on Thursday, March 15, CNBC reported. The fall comes as central bankers and finance ministers are likely to discuss cryptocurrency. Bitcoin struggles for stability, facing 10% drop for the week. Bitcoin prices dipped slightly on Friday, but were holding above $8,100 in a week marked by a sharp drop on concerns for tighter regulation. From exactly a week ago, some $39 billion has been wiped off the market cap of cryptocurrencies, which stood at $325,416,080,764 on Friday, according to CoinMarketCap. A single Bitcoin BTC USD, minus 2.20%, was changing hands at $8,150.41, down 1.3%. This week, Bitcoin has dropped nearly 10%, bringing it to a year-to-date loss of around 43%.